it's January 30th, 2022, time for episode 55 of Dinner from the Dining Car. Today we're going to be making a recipe from the Pullman Company back in the days when the Pullman Company was running dining cars on some railroads. This one is called a saute of chicken a la Marengo. It's from head cook Henry Baldwin of the Pullman Company. It's basically sauteing some chicken parts and in a in a in a sauce and then you serve it. Uh, this one has an option of either serving on rice or on toast. Well we got some really good wheat bread at the store today. So uh, fresh baked so we're gonna be making this on toast. Anyway, uh, how they that came up with this recipe is this is a take on something that was served to Napoleon after of the after the Battle of Marengo. The French won that and the cook there panicked because you know mobile kitchen he didn't have a whole lot of supplies but he had to come up with something to suit the Emperor so he came up with this dish. Anyway here's what you can, and this was adapted by him Henry Baldwin found this and it was adapted for use in uh, a dining car because it's kind of minimalistic ingredients and you can make it in one pan maybe two and uh, it doesn't require a lot of space so here's what you're going to need first thing you're going to need is approximately three pounds of chicken parts now we've got uh, chicken thighs here and they need to be browned. Now we're not going to show, we're not going to brown them on camera. We're going to brown them because it may take a while to brown six gigantic chicken thighs is what we have here. Then you're going to need a cup of water. I don't think I need to show you guys the water. Uh, you're going to need a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Don't need to show you that either really. A dash of red pepper flakes and a little bit of salt to taste. Now we're going to use something a little interesting here. We have smoked salt. This is actually quite good and adds a little bit of smokiness to the flavor. You're going to need a tablespoon of flour. I don't have the flour down either so you don't need to see that. You're going to need a tablespoon of our old friend butter and there goes the cat he's going crazy you're going to need approximately four ounces of sliced mushrooms you're also going to need a cup of sherry and then finally two to four ounces of diced pimentos Basically, you brown the chicken, you make the sauce, you saute the chicken in the sauce for a, almost an hour and a half. Uh, after the first hour, then you will uh, saute the mushrooms in the butter and then add in those, add those mushrooms and the sherry and the pimentos into the chicken and the sauce that's already been, uh, so that's already been kind of simmering for an hour. Uh, anyway, that's what you're going to need for this recipe. What's the matter, kitty? You're looking at me kind of funny. My cat's giving me a funny look. Okay, that's what you're going to need for this recipe. And it's, again, minimal ingredients. So, I guess we will see you once we get started cooking. We'll see you then. Alrighty, folks. We're getting ready to start cooking. I have already browned the chicken. So you guys can do that without too much work. You need in a large skillet, you're going to need a cup of water, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're just going to wing it on the olive oil here, guys. That ought to be about a couple of tablespoons. Okay. A 
dash of red pepper flakes. If I can get the thing open. Oh, I should have opened this first. dash of red pepper flakes. Okay. Wow, those smell good. A little salt. Again, we're using smoked salt today. Just a little bit of salt. And a couple of tablespoons of flour. One tablespoon of flour. Correction, one tablespoon of flour. Now we're going to whisk this up. So it all mixes. I almost wish I had put it in a bowl. You know, I might want to double this because that's not a whole lot of sauce. Let me see it. It's not a whole lot of maybe sauce. Maybe you're not supposed to have a lot. Well, maybe not. I just leave it the way it okay. is. Okay. All right. We'll give it a shot. All right. Okay. Now, you take your chicken. Let me make sure my hands are rinsed because I'm handling chicken, and you put your chicken into the pan. Very simple first part of the recipe. Of course the fat from the chicken will uh, add a little bit of moisture to this. There you go. Now you bring this to a boil, and then you uh, turn it down, and you simmer it in this sauce, which really smells good right now. So let's bring that to a boil, I hope. Put the flour away, because we're done. suck. And he, your wife will be very upset with Yes, and my wife would be very, very, very upset with me. <laughs> and it's, believe it or not, it's already starting to boil. That's pretty quick. Yeah, I think with the rendered fat from the chicken. Now I can see why they say use chicken with the skins on it because it's going to render into this sauce. Okay. Once it starts boiling, the olive oil away. That already smells really good. I mean, it really does smell good. Get a nice boil going. Baste the chicken a little bit with the liquid so it doesn't stick. I think I should cook it with the skin sides down. Or not. I don't know. Whatever you think. Okay. Now that we're boiling, you turn it down to a lower heat and we're going to simmer this for one hour. Uh, when we're close to that hour being done, we'll come back cover it so you don't lose any liquid. When that hour is close to being done, we'll come back, 
we'll saute the mushrooms, add the butter, butter and pimentos, and the sherry wine, and we'll get that mixed all together. So that's it for the first part. Uh, we'll be back in about an hour. We'll see you then. All right, guys, we're back. We need to melt the butter, a tablespoon or so of butter. Now, when you melt butter, uh, the recipe doesn't call for it, but I have found that it always works to put just a teaspoon or two of olive oil in there as well because it keeps your butter from burning. Uh, just a little sage advice from someone who's burnt enough melted butter to uh, Oh, you should smell this chicken. It looks fabulous. <clears throat> now, once your butter melts, you take your mushrooms. Now, this is an 8-ounce package. You're going to use about half of it. You know what? Screw it. I'm using it all. <laughs> We're going to have lots of mushrooms. And you will brown these. Just saute them a little bit until they soften up. And now while you're here, you're gonna your chicken, I'm gonna put that over there for just a second. Your chicken, which by the way, looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. What you want to do... Uh oh, I moved the camera prematurely. Sorry folks. What you want to do is, while your mushrooms are busy sauteing up, to the chicken, well, you need to take the chicken out of the pan for a, for a few seconds. Uh, just put it in a container temporarily. It smells delicious. A, oh ho ho, that's a metal container and it's bloody hot. Because you're going to add to this sauce, one cup of sherry wine, and about two to four ounces of drained diced pimentos. Excuse me. Stir that up a little bit. Okay, turn that down a little bit because we don't want them to burn. And then you're just going to take this stuff that you just mix into that sauce and you're going to stir it around. The sauce looks delicious. We, will, we were kind of worried when we started this that we wouldn't have enough sauce. Oh, we got bundles. Alright. And then you're going to take your chicken. Hot, hot, hot pan. And you're going to put it back in here. Once your mushrooms are sautéed and 
These are pretty well sauteed. You're going to take those bad boys and you're going to pour them all into your pan with the chicken. Mushroom stuck to the pan. Now you're going to simmer this again for an additional half hour. Sorry about the camera shaking. I'm trying to move it so I can get closer here. So there's what you're looking at. You're going to cover that and you're going to simmer that for another half an hour. It smells fantastic in here. Oh my goodness. So anyway, that's that for that step. I told you this is actually a pretty simple recipe to make. So we'll be back in about half an hour to plate this up. See you then. Okay everybody, it's half an hour later. Time to start plating this up. Oh, and it smells yummy. Let me get Judy's first. Glad I went with more mushrooms than the recipe calls for. Here's Judy's. Now for mine. I don't know if we're going to eat two of these because... Just give me one. Well, you got two to start. You got two, so go scream at somebody else. I didn't scream at you. More juice. Gotta make sure I get lots of that. And there you have it, guys. This is the sauté chicken from the Pullman Company. Uh, we're going to sit down and eat in just a minute. So, uh, if you make this video, I hope it comes out for you as nice as it did for us. And, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or want a copy of the recipe, email me at dinnerfromthedininghar at yahoo.com. Thanks for coming along on this little culinary adventure, and have yourselves a wonderful night.